All right, and she's loading up your map. We're all familiar with this nav errors. Map is unplayable. What you're going to do, you're going to close that. You're going to stare down at the floor. Open your console and type in SV underscore cheats space one. And then you can either type nav edit, nav underscore edit one, or use the radio menu, view nav, nav mark walkable, and nav generate incremental. This, uh, sometimes it takes longer, sometimes it doesn't. Um, the benefit of doing the nav generate incremental over the just nav generate nav generate will make a full mesh for you and nine times out of ten it will not work properly uh, it will give you a crazy huge file uh, this will give you a more personalized and more precise nav by doing the generate incremental and you're going to want to run around your map and uh, mark you'll see the spots that aren't marked and just do the same thing on each one nav mark nav underscore mark underscore walkable or use the radio menu I included stairs is a, is a tricky thing you see they have a light blue line connecting them right now those are properly connected stairways if there was a dark blue line or no line they would need a connect which we will cover you just want to run around your map and make sure you got the movable areas marked walkable. And ah, here, our first ladder. Before you mark the ladder, make sure the bottom and top where the ladder leads to has their nav positions marked already. Then you just go to the very bottom and use the radio menu or type in the console nav underscore build underscore ladder properly connected you will see a light blue line coming from the top of the ladder to the top surface and a light blue line coming from the bottom of the ladder to the floor surface and you just go through and keep marking your nav mark walkables and your generate incrementals with this incremental generation it's about ten times faster than it would you just using generate if you type in just nav underscore generate, you might as well go grab yourself a beer and go watch a movie. Seriously. And just keep going through. This ain't a long map, so it only took about 10 minutes to do this. Now we come to another crucial part. We have a breakable or burnable wall that blocks off a nav position. So what we're going to do is we're going to trigger it to destroy, burn, whatever okay we wait for the file to dissipate once the fire dissipates we're going to put a nav mark walkable and a nav generate incremental right in between where the wall would be that way it connects the two meshes so now you have a solid follow through and you just need to keep going through marking your map it's not that hard especially with the radio menu now here we come to a stairway that needs to be fixed there is a dark blue line connecting the two but you have all these other nav squares lit up so what do you do what you do is you open up your console and type nav underscore delete underscore marked that will just unhighlight the highlighted nav meshes now you need to highlight the two stairways that need to be connected using the radio menu is simple once you have the two selected you do a connect now you have a light blue line connecting them which are properly functioning stairs not bad huh we come to another stairway it's a longer stairway so it has three sections again we're going to make sure we have the nav underscore delete underscore marked to get rid of all the highlighted nav spaces and then you just go north and south basically the northern step and, the, and you want to be facing north or south or east or west I got lucky standing sideways here sometimes it doesn't even work if you're standing like that but just make sure you have two selected and connect them 
now you have light blue lines connecting all three stairways and another functioning stairway now you just check over the nav make sure you have markers that spot will not mark because it is too thin for both survivor and zombies so as you see it still didn't mark but we still have a pathway through one on each side check the stairway everything's connected and you just do another mark walkable and another nav generate incremental make sure it's connected and as you go in the safe room you'll notice the floor is already marked checkpoint a lot of this is automatically done for you especially the the escape route do not mark the escape route yourself you will tear up your navigation save it analyze it I'll put annotations in for this part it takes about I don't know I'd say five minutes for the first one and your game starts up with the the error screen missing now we gotta mark crescendo events we're back here at our burnable wall I have a program to trigger crescendo so we're gonna want to mark these special they already are marked escape route the survivors and both monsters know where to go but now we want to mark a battlefield the battlefield is going to tell the monsters where they can come from during the crescendo event this is a f efficient in making it look like they're coming from longer range patterns once the once the walls down or whatever it is your crescendo you want to run the crescendo first and then we're going to use a nav underscore select underscore radius space and i'm going to use a key of 750 now that highlights a section of 750 points in the map now I like my battlefields to be solidly connected. I'm not sure if this will inhibit you if uh, you don't have the battlefields totally connected to each other. But it's just a good idea for testing purposes. And then once you have that you're going to want to mark space battlefield in the console or use the radio menu. Now all those spaces are highlighted with battlefield but now you need a battle station and you gotta tell the survivors where their most likely chance of surviving the crescendo event will be so we're gonna put them in front and behind the gun and now I'm just using the select in the center of the majority of the radio menus for the navigation uh, it's a pretty good idea to have the select in there just in case you didn't want to use the, the particular radio menu but anyway mark your areas battle station mark space battle station or use the radio menu and you're gonna nav save and nav analyze again this takes about half the time as it did the first time -da -da. once again your map starts up without the nav error screen what you're going to want to do at this point is you're going to want to interact with the director director underscore stop in the console then direct underscore start director underscore start in the console then sv underscore cheats space zero turning the cheats off, removing the navigation file from your view. Your nav is saved and ready to rock.